Hey everyone, uh, welcome to Brian's Garage. Today I want to talk to you about the GM POA valve, and you'll find these on uh, mid 60s to early 70s GM products. This happens to be a 67 to 72 Chevy pickup uh, that I'm in the process of converting from R12 to 134. Anyway, so uh, what do we got to do here? Well, we got to we we have to adjust the uh, the POA valve for lower pressure because the R134 has different properties does than does the R12. And the way you do that is well first you got to take off this uh, return line to your compressor. And then you use one of these, one of these guys to uh, turn a little screw that's in there. There's a nut. This is 730 seconds. And where is that nut? That nut is back. Let's see if I can do this. All right. That nut is right back. There it is. You see it back in there? It's a little hex. 7.30 seconds. So you're going to turn that while watching your gauge to get this set to somewhere between 27 and 28 PSI. So here's our low, low side hooked up to our, our gauge set. Uh, I, I might say PSI, what I really mean is inches mercury. So if I say PSI, just know that I mean inches mercury. And we want that to be somewhere between 27 and 28, right? So let's go ahead and take our handy dandy blow gun here, just regular blow gun hooked up to your compressor. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but you have to take off this line going to your uh, your expansion valve. We're going to blow in right there. So uh, here we go. What's going to happen up here? it pop off it goes a little over and then it pops off and regulates to a constant pressure so there you go that's what you got to do guys um, one of the things one of the one of the reasons why you need to adjust this is that uh, you want the the uh, evaporator itself to be real close to the freezing temperature of water but you don't want it to be below freezing because you don't want the the humidity inside your cab building up on your uh, evaporator fins and causing ice because that'll block it up and then of course your efficiency will go to hell so uh, gotta keep it just around freezing but not below and that's what you do with the uh, 27 to 28 inches of mercury will create that ideal situation so there you go that's all I got we'll talk to you later